Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While working with Word, you are given several different ways that you can select the text and objects contained in your document. To select document text, click and drag with your mouse over the text to select it. This technique can also select objects that have a text wrapping setting of inline with text. However, to select an object in your document that does not have the inline with text text wrapping setting applied, you can click directly on the object to select it. Word also contains a select button that is located in the home tab in the ribbon within the editing button group. Clicking this drop down button will give you several options for making a selection in your document. The select all command when clicked will select all of the text and objects in your document. The Select Objects command will allow you to click and drag in your document, but only select objects. This includes ink, shapes, and text areas, but not pictures. No basic text will be selected with this command turned on. It can be useful to select shapes that have a Behind Text text wrapping setting applied to them. This function will be highlighted in the Select Buttons drop-down menu to indicate it is turned on. You can turn this function off by clicking the Select button and then choosing the Select Objects command once again in its drop-down menu. To select all of the text within your document that has the same formatting as the currently selected text, you can choose the Select Text with Similar Formatting command from the Select button's drop-down menu. If you have objects in your document, you can choose to display the selection pane. This will make it easier to manipulate the objects contained in your document. To view the selection pane, you can click the Home tab in the ribbon and then click the Select drop-down button in the Editing button group. In the drop-down menu that appears, you can then choose the Selection Pane command. The Selection Pane will appear docked at the right side of the application window. Any objects contained in your document will be displayed in the order that they appear. You can click the name of an object that you want to work with to be taken to the page of your document that contains the object. For overlapping shapes within a document, you can click the Bring Forward or Send Backward arrow buttons that appear in the upper right corner of the pane to change the order in which the selected shape overlaps another shape. To display all of the objects in your document, you can click the Show All button in the Selection pane. A stylized eye icon will display to the right of any visible objects in your document. You can also hide all of the objects in your document by clicking the Hide All button. The eye icon will change to a horizontal line on all objects in the selection pane that are not pictures. You can show or hide individual objects by clicking the eye icon or the horizontal line to the right of the object within the selection pane. Like all panes in Word, you can move or resize the selection pane by using the Task Pane Options button that appears to the right of the title. You can close the pane by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the pane or by choosing the closed command from the Task Pane Options drop-down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.